up. I know you gotta catch your bus or your subway, but before you do, if you take public transit, you probably have an opinion about it. Good morning, Kelsey and Priya. Good morning. What do you guys feel about, how do you feel about public transit? Well, I mean, I love it uh, in terms of environmental impact. Uh, mm -hmm. If it's cost affordable, then I'm on it as well. Sometimes I find it hard to justify in Toronto because you are paying a lot of money if you want to take some of the transit in the city and it can cost you more than it costs to park downtown. Mm -hmm. And I think that's tough on people. But I know that it's a necessity for so many. Yeah. So having just moved here from Halifax, obviously a much smaller city, I, I'm loving all of the options here for transit, like the streetcars, the buses, the subways. Uh, like, I really like it. I hate driving. I would rather, like, get a cavity filled than drive on a busy highway <laughs> <laughs> or downtown. So I'm, I'm a big fan of public transit. I'm sure many Torontonians are going to be surprised to hear you say that because there are a lot of people who have some qualms mm. about the TTC in this city. But we'll get to that. We'll get to that. And this is what we're looking at today. Public transit in Canada and the improvements being made in different communities in different cities across this country. So you guys know I love my numbers. Mm -hmm. And you know, public transit use is rising across this country. In fact, from 1996 to 2016, the number of commuters taking public transit actually grew by nearly 60%. Wow. So there are more people saying, you know what, I'm going to leave the car at home. I'm going to go on the bus, or I'm going to take the subway, or the streetcar, or the LRT, and I'm going to try an alternate, alternate route to get to work. In fact, Toronto had the highest proportion of workers using public transit, followed by Montreal and Vancouver. And that's not really a surprise, because... Because those are big cities. Exactly. Yeah. And what happens when you have a big city? You have more congestion. And more people. More people. Right. Um, longer commute times. And you usually have jobs that are concentrated in an area, for example, downtown. So it's easier to take a transit if you have that service that connects you right to where the jobs are. So that's no surprise. However, we do know that there is a city that it doesn't do so well with people using public transit. Does anybody want to get, take a guess? And it is in Western Canada. Well, I saw on the board, and it's okay. Edmonton. <laughs> I will just say. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, Edmonton, they actually had one of the lowest proportions of public transit use of the major cities. So only about 12% of commuters took public transit uh, in Edmonton. Do we know why that is? We do, and we're actually going to look at some of, the, some of this uh, in the detail. But I want to start off with Vancouver, because Vancouver is kind of like the star model in Canada for how they've really reinvented their transit system. So from 1996 to uh, uh, 2006, what we've seen is that there have been two major expansions of the SkyTrain system in Vancouver. So what, if many people don't know, Vancouver SkyTrain is basically, they built above ground, but like, above the road. Right, so this is not LRTs that are running on the road, and these are not subways below ground. These are basically LRTs or subways that run above the road on pillars and so forth. On bridges on Exactly, yeah. and they go through the city. It's quite interesting. And there's been two major expansions. One was the Canada Line. This was just in time for the 2010 Olympics, which nearly doubled the amount of high-speed rail across the city. It connected the major airport to the downtown. So what we've seen is that Vancouver has had the highest increase of commuters taking public transit because they've expanded in areas that people actually want to go to. Okay. In fact, even on the books right now, there's a huge expansion of the SkyTrain that the province is looking at possibly funding, and they're working out that right now, which would go along the Fraser Highway, because we know congestion in Vancouver is a big issue. Sure. The other one is Toronto. I mean, you guys live here. Uh, the big money is being spent. Billions of dollars are being spent. A big project is the Eglinton Crosstown. This is where I live. So it's basically <laughs> shut down Eglinton Avenue, Midtown Toronto, uh, but it's an over $5 billion project. It's going to bring nearly 20 kilometers of light rail. Most of that will be underground, but when it does get out to the suburbs where it's uh, less dense, it does move above ground in its own dedicated lane. And that has provided some controversy because some people who live in the area where it's going to be above ground say, I would prefer the, the LRT to run below ground just because whether there's weather elements that could affect you know, the reliability of that and so forth. Mm -hmm. So people in Scarborough have said, you know, we would like that LRT to be below ground. However, the decision has been made to bring it above ground. But there are other projects on the books, like a downtown relief line. It's one of the highest priority projects in the city that, you know, many advocates have been calling for. And there's even the Scarborough subway, which has been very controversial. But again, it's one of, it's these projects that could help congestion, because we know congestion in Toronto is just so bad. I'm sure you guys have experienced that yourself. Yeah, absolutely. Well, this is the question why we want to pose to you, Canada. Like, how do you feel about public transit in your community? Are you happy with it? That's your hashtag, your take question. Let us know right now. Use that hashtag. After the break, we'll have more news and weather. Again, are you happy with public transit in your community? We want to know right now on social media.